gonna edit that out. So, um, give me gratitude. I spent the day with Tina Kane and Tommy the World. Hit the like button below. Subscribe if you're new. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And, uh, yeah. All links to my social media in the description below. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Visit Better by the way, I'm not, I'm going to be cutting out, you know, uh, like me, like the, the, the sponsors in the video. So yeah, and Bratina Updates tweeted, uh, which is a, uh, account made for, you know, Tina, Tina fans. <clears throat> so, Tina viewers, I mean. Yeah, so yeah, here we go. Betterhelp.com slash Padilla because sometimes existing is exhausting. I used to watch her on Twitch. How far she's fallen. There's nothing wrong with working at a coffee shop. If you like it, okay? My name's Anthony Padilla, and I spent a day with Tina Kitten to uncover the truth about how rapidly becoming a popular streamer... Yeah, baby, let's go! Lies ...published about her. Why she regrets choosing the username Tina Kitten. And how she's utilizing her experience with dangerous parasocial relationships to protect the next generation. True. Hello, oh. Tina! <laughs> Were you gonna give me a hug? We'll go for a hug! <laughs> I thought you would have <laughs> When I googled your name, uh -huh. so many news articles came up that were just full of rumors. Rumors? That you're dating corpse. Oh. <laughs> the heck? That would exist. Nah, bro. How? 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 I'm saying this right now. How is your kid dating corpse? Like, say that right now. Okay? Say that right now. Many people saw corpse's face, but uh, some people didn't. Like, it's like dream. Not showing his face. <laughs> yeah. So we're just like... Was any part of you prepared for the kind of attention that you now receive? No. Do you think anyone's like prepared though? Maybe unless they were like born into that. Maybe. Yeah. Like if you're part of royalty or something yeah. and from birth they're like, you're going to have lots of people trying to devour you with words and take advantage of you at any moment and exploit everything about you. I don't think anybody, anybody's like really capable of having that many things <coughs> on them. I just don't yeah. think people are meant for that. You are seen as one of the most positive and wholesome oh, figures yeah. on the internet. Do you think that it's difficult to uphold that idea that people have of you? I would always want to be seen as like somebody positive. Wholesome is more so the difficult one because yeah. obviously sometimes I get angry. I play games. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> She's playing until <laughs> a different game. I make her rage. Like that's why I swear to you all, as I'm like editing this video right now, she's a lot live right now reacting to this video. Which by the way, there is a link to this video be in the, the in the description box below for y'all to uh watch it. So yeah. You know, like yeah. I'm competitive. I've heard you say the f word once. Yeah, the f Twice. word. <laughs> 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 Which, by the way, I like, bro, it's just so, oh, I love, I love Tina Kid. I like, she's so damn wholesome as F, dude. I love her. When I first started streaming, I did not swear that much, and now I swear so much. Like, bro, like, you, like, look up clips. Look up clips of, like, what is it? Of these type of stuff, like. Tin Kitten cusses, like, before, she does it, but now, she's a freaking, like, bro, she has a pony mouth, like, bro, she cusses left, right, and center. <laughs> Why? Because you're surrounded by other people that do? Corpse and Emma, they're bad influence. <laughs> Corpse! Like, like, Tina, get out of my way from Corpse and Emma, bro. I'm joking. You can hang out with Corpse and Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use the the B word coupon? And I would call them a bitch. Bye, corpse. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> also, sometimes I feel like when you are wholesome, I don't want anybody to mix up wholesomeness with being naive. I wouldn't want anyone to think like, oh, just because she's nice to me, 
It means she knows nothing about the world. From what I've seen. <laughs> like, I, bro, like, bro, I, just, I, mm, I swear, I, I, like, like, it's just so, okay, so here's, here's the thing, what I want from the, the feature guest that will be on I Spend a Day with series. I want people to vlog themselves, like, behind the scenes of how, like, they set up for the interview, like, the, like, like, you know, like, the before the shoot, and then after the shoot, stuff like that, like, bro, vlog, I don't, like, I don't want people to vlog in 2022, people are vlogging. People are damn vlogging right now. It's like 2017, but without Logan and Jay Paul vlogging, acting like D bags and, and like pricks. Okay? Right now, they're like focusing on like different endeavors that they're in, like NFTs, um, uh, boxing, the promotions. Come on, dude. I just seriously want... Oh, bro. Okay. Everyone is... Sorry, so I just got uh, sidetracked. Nice. Encouraging yeah. and very positive. And I feel like that is, in many ways, a symbol of who you are. Oh, what the heck? Thanks, <laughs> Anthony. I'm just stating facts. As long as you're checking them constantly, like I mm -hmm. would say it's a pretty good reflection of mm -hmm. you as a creator. The untold truth. Ooh, okay. You blew up so quickly. You gained 9,000 followers in the first two years of streaming. What? 9,000 followers? Buddy, the 2020. <laughs> what? That's it. That's like to to me. That's literally an insane number. Jesus. Okay. And then yeah. one oh God, million in the next year. Bro, first is at the end of 2020. Not point seven. That wait. Not point seven. Nine thousand one sixty one nine point seven. Yeah, if I'm doing my like, if I put if I place my decimals in the right place, cause it's a hundred, no ten, no one ten hundred thousand. Then you put the decimal between the thousand and the hundreds, so it's like that. So yeah, it is. Uh, by the end of twenty twenty, it's nine point seven thousand. Followers by the end of 2020 and then by the end of 2021 1 million followers. That's like a freaky like here's growth. Oh my gosh What were some of the unforeseen struggles that you faced? So I actually enjoyed having a larger audience I just yeah. struggled with feeling undeserving of the audience the imposter syndrome. Yes, exactly, <laughs> but I will say that I almost kind of enjoy bro Okay I watched uh, the earlier, uh, his earlier series, uh, his episode in this series. He used to be holding a notepad to, yeah, but now it's like. What? He's not holding a notepad. What the heck? Like, even go back, like, earlier episodes in this series, he was holding a notepad. But now he's literally like, no padlet. It's weird. Cause I, by the way, I watched the Mia Khalifa video. <laughs> Which, oh my gosh. It's like, bro, I just, it's, no, don't, it, I'm gonna say it. it's because I love watching Mia Khalifa videos on the corn hub. So yeah. Avoid having more people watch because I think when I was like a younger streamer, the level of parasocial relationships that I developed with a smaller audience was actually scarier to me. I started streaming yeah. when I was like, what, like 15, 14? I don't know why. I just had like, well, maybe I do know why, but I had an audience of older dudes. And so I struggled drawing 
boundaries when I was younger. If somebody like subscribes to you, sometimes they think they are entitled to your time because yeah. they gave you $4.99 a month. Like, yeah. and I'm just like, yeah. oh. Did you feel tempted to give people things because they kind of- Well, like, three hours I, I, I would like, sometimes be people like therapists, to type out all their emotions to you person, all the time. I'm like so, yeah. 16. I'm like, yeah. I'm homework. I just, <laughs> That's what it used to cost. Months, you can get therapy <laughs> from a 16 year old. <laughs> Consistent ridicule. Okay. Even Tina gets hate comments? Yes, I do. It's right. just strange to see that right. with you. I mean, sometimes people think it's like fake. Oh, who you are? So people are like, she's being so nice and for what? No, she's really not like this. When I when I met her out front, she uh, screamed at me, threw me on the ground, stepped on my face, and oh. then punched a hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. And then robbed him. And then you jumped on a Razor scooter and flipped it so it hit my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Anthony just is joking around just to make this interview more like more entertaining. So, if, he, if she actually did that, Anthony wouldn't be doing this interview then, and then he wouldn't be taking pictures anymore. <laughs> He'd be in the hospital, in the LA hospital. So yeah, <laughs> not the razor scooter. <laughs> It's a lot easier to deal with it when you know where it comes from. If it's something about me being like feminine or soft spoken or whatever, I'm like, mm, internalized misogyny. When you can like kind of True. source where their hurt would come from, it yeah. makes it easier for me to deal with it. Do you deal with people who? First off, I don't know why I got started liking T Tina Kitten. I think because once she joined Hunter Thieves, that's what I saw. Yeah, okay, I okay, I love Tina Kitten now. It's because like I love Hundred Thieves. It's whenever someone joins Hundred Thieves or Face Clan, I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna like them. Boom, right there. <laughs> uh, by the way, I actually participated for the first time on two uh two kittens uh twist selfie day. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You imply that you're too loud. Kind of like you need to make yourself smaller. I did at first when I was growing feel the need to almost like make myself smaller and like maybe like say less because I felt the more I had to say, the more bad stuff would be coming mm. my way. You so know you thought I mean? that you were bringing it on? When people are saying so many bad things to you, obviously you're gonna be like, hmm, I'm doing something wrong. I think like once I took the time to like try to source where the criticism came from, I was yeah. like, okay. Depressed emotions, okay. I, I remember I used to like cry like after my streams, especially like early on in the yeah. beginning. I'd be like, thanks so much for watching guys and stream. <laughs> All of your emotions would come out. It was like overwhelming, allowing myself to experience like a ton of emotion through like just crying. It's like yeah. healthy instead of like getting mad at people or holding it in and then exploding at somebody. The more you get into like the habit of venting on the internet, that kind of feedback can be addicting. When the internet does give you that kind of uh, a response that you wish you could get from a friend, but on a huge yeah. level. It's addicting. It's very addicting. But it's not you also don't want to like get into the habit of like self-deprecation too, because that can also be addicting. Like when you use it to like cope all the yeah. time, sometimes you say like, bad things to yourself. I used to really fall into habits of being self-deprecating on the internet because I felt like, I mean, it was easy and it's easy. Relatable. Way, it's relatable. <laughs> and, and it was an easy way for me to point out flaws that I saw in myself yeah. before other people had the chance to point them out. That is also what I do all the time. I'm yeah. trying to stop doing yeah. that. Cause it's like, if I say that I have a big forehead, no one else can say it first and hurt me. For a while I did the opposite where I was like, I turned the joke into something really positive where I was overly confident. Yeah. And surprisingly people treated <clears throat> me like I was deserving of more respect because I treated myself that way. Wow. So you know those infographics where they show someone like shy and like yeah. intimidated and then someone looks like super confident? Even in my brain, like when I see that, I'm like, yeah, that person deserves a raise. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like they get stuff done. There mm -hmm. is so much truth behind just body language to know how confident <clears throat> someone is. Notice how my Sponsored. shoulders are like, really like, I'm confident. I deserve a raise. <laughs> An isolated childhood. You were born in South Korea. Yes, I was. And how long did you live there? 14 years, 15? 14 years there? Accumulative, yeah. I was born, I moved when I was six and then came back when I was like maybe 10. And then you moved back to the US. What were some of the big culture shocks? Racism? 
big reason as to why I don't know Korean anymore is because I completely took it out of me. There were so many people that were like, why are your eyes shaped like that? And I was the only like non-white person in my school. I was like, oh, I just don't think I want to be Korean right now. I was so young, like I didn't know. And I'm so sad that that happened because when I moved back to Korea, I was like, oh God, like everybody embraces being Korean here. When I was younger, I was angry and alone. I lived in like a retirement neighborhood. All my neighbors were like old people. Mm -hmm. And during recess, I had like, you know, I would bury myself in wood chips. Like, <laughs> it was a cold winter and like I needed a nap. So did you isolate yourself? I think I struggled with social cues like a lot back then. Mm -hmm. I was just a kid, like kids are kind of, yeah. kids are a little weird. I remember when I would eat mealtime, I would sit at my dinner table for like two hours and my parents would be like, this is just getting ridiculous. Like this is obviously gonna hold our child back. They started timing my meals. How much time would you have maybe to like eat your an, meal? Maybe like an hour, which you would think. That's, that's like, plenty that's, of time. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but like there would still be so much food left on the plate. What to the this heck? Day, like my friends okay. say, tuna time. <laughs> what is tina time? It means like so slow. Like I'm the last person to leave meal time. Yeah. Last person to leave a room because I'm still getting Damn, my stuff together. Okay. I have a poor measurement of time in my head. <clears throat> I don't okay. know how long we've been sitting here. Six hours. Well, no, maybe no. not. <laughs> <laughs> like that, 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 you, know, you, you have a little know, measure of time. A li yeah, a little measurement, but like I genuinely can't say if it's been like, has it been one hour? Actually, I'm missing Jack. It's been exactly one what? hour. Yeah. Right, that's amazing. Okay, maybe I do. Tina understood the concept of time. <laughs> bad Love it. Like I did like hang out <clears throat> by myself. Like I would throw my flip flop into a ditch and like chase after it and wade through the water. What kind of ditch? Was it sewage? Oh my God, no, I would hope not. Okay, like, then it sounds fun, yeah. It was like, it was a good time. Oh, that explains like all the, all the disease. <laughs> <laughs> but then when I came inside, I played games a lot. I would always get hand-me-downs from my dad. I would always just daydream about like medieval stuff, though. <laughs> you know, like yeah. dragons and magic. Probably be because of the games that I would play. I never thought I would, you know, stream it one day. Isn't that interesting that the thing in your life that was bringing you joy, that kind of was the disconnect from the rest of your life, disconnect yeah. from reality, mm -hmm. became the thing that now is your reality. Crazy when your parents are like, oh, like, you'll never get a job playing games. Mm -hmm. And then you do. The art of blowing up. Ah, uh, yes. first start blowing up on the internet? I think September 2020. That's so recent. Isn't that insane? Yeah. Why did you start blowing up? Oh, yeah, no. Among <laughs> Us. Were you watching the numbers? Were you obsessed with the growth? It felt bad because I was, like, taking from people. Like you were leeching off of them? Yes, that's the worst feeling. I was like, oh, God, like, this sucks. So you, you know? felt like you didn't deserve the audience that you yeah. built because you were just... Taking. No, that felt so bad and I was like, I didn't know how to like address that feeling and sometimes like I, I still don't, intentional or not, it just mm -hmm. happened to be that way. When you started getting popular playing Among Us and you started seeing your numbers skyrocket, what were the thoughts that were going through your head? Oh my god, I'll be okay. Financially, I felt like I was in shambles. It did a, like help with a lot of things that I was struggling with. Did the thought ever come to mind? Oh, this might be my thing. This, I might have a career here. When I hit 100K on Twitch, oh, like I'm growing kind of fast. Like this is kind of exciting because I thought that if I continued to stream for the rest of my life, I still wouldn't hit 100K for years, 9K. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So in my head, I was like, if I do the math, maybe I'll do like 80 one day, like 80K. So 80 by the time you're 80. Exactly. I just had hit 100K and it was so soon. I remember being so excited. And I was like, obviously like, this isn't gonna get too much bigger, you know? And then yeah. it did and I was like, yeah. Did you have to like sit your parents down and say, mom, dad, not going to school anymore. I'm gonna play games. I did not have to do that. So they had known that this was like something I did. They didn't know that any financial support I had was real. They thought it was like Monopoly money, basically. Until <laughs> I actually brought home like a drawing tablet and I was like, look, mom. And she was like, oh, that's real money. And I was like, yeah, it is. Shayoshi wants to know. Oh. Do you know Shayoshi? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shayoshi wants to know if you knew that you'd blow hey. up, would you have chosen the name Tina Kitten? Mm -mm. <laughs> no? No. Why? Have you ever heard of the term Discord kitten? No. 
Should I have? I don't know. It Do just, I hang out with the wrong people? I don't know. Maybe the right people. Oh. It's just like, you know when you just call someone like a kitten? Does that make sense? Like, the, the implications feel very, like, weird to me. Mm, like, know? get on your knees and purr? Yeah, that kind of thing. And mm. I'm like, oh, maybe I would, I don't want that. But I was like, I was a child. I was like, I like cats, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't really ever think it would be an alias that would be put on things. That's the name of this video. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it, it's in all caps. It is in all caps. <laughs> and, you know, maybe it would have been something like, I don't really know. I never really thought about it. Actually, call me Crunch. Crunch? Do you hate that? Why are you Crunch? I love Crunch. Crunch? Why yeah. are you Crunch? There's very little to assume about that name. On my birthday, all this made me so teary-eyed. But they, they, it was like, happy birthday, Crunch. was like the hashtag that they like trended or something. Aww. It was so cute. If you're losing it all, are you fearing something? That when, when these numbers are below a certain point that uh, this kind of fear comes up. Oh God. Like what would you say is your worst fear about what would happen to your career if the numbers drop too far? In my private life, very mm -hmm. private. How do you choose what- oh! Like I would always just assume it's nobody's business, you know? Mm -hmm. I could only imagine, like people already take friendships to such an extreme. I've been in a few public relationships mm. online. It even got to a point where it was like daily vlog, everything that we do on camera, All we're right. putting it out every single day. Unsolicited opinions would seep into my cool. head. It it's really so altered the way that I that I perceive everything in the relationship. I just don't think like your relationships with people are meant to be analyzed like that anyways. Mm. And so it's just kind of like some things are meant to be private, I think. It's tempting to let people in though, because people like that connection. There's this, this almost like, I feel like the need to be yeah. fully transparent, open, yeah. but you know, there's gotta be like a divide, right? A lot of people have work-life balance and I feel like just because I'm a content creator doesn't mean I should deny myself that same balance. This is still at the end of the day, it's work. It is, it is work. Hmm. What's next for Tina Kitten? Once, you know, I would say like the world opens back up. I want to do like IRL streams. A couple years prior, I did like backpacking and I love traveling like a lot. I like experiencing the world with people. I think it's so fun. I would be terrified of IRL streaming because people know where you are in the stream at all times. That's true. It's, it, that is true, but that's why Pokimane is actually doing it in beautiful, North Korea in a few weeks or in two weeks, not that sure, but go check out uh, Pokemon League. I will have it on screen right now and uh, edit that in, and then yeah. Are you gonna hire bodyguards? Yeah, hmm. yes, I will. Mm -hmm. Hopeful. So yes. Don't mess with me, I'll get you. <laughs> you were recently announced as a creator with 100 Thieves. There we go! OG content creator! <laughs> OG content creator, I think the end, shout it out. 100 Thieves! <laughs> love it! Love it, I love it. I spent 100 Thieves, I love it. The esports organization. Yeah. What was that like for you? Was that, was that a huge moment? It felt like the next. Step. I had always felt like, for one, I would never like, I guess, be a part of an org. Like, I felt like I didn't like fit the image, but it was cool because I felt like, I don't know, they like recognized me as like a creator. Isn't it interesting that you didn't ask for anyone to recognize you that way? In fact, you kind of pushed away the idea of someone thinking too highly of you, yeah. but yeah, you have 100 oh Thieves God. coming to you. You have, you were just brought on to the Dream SMP. Yeah. I'm, oh my god, I'm so happy for Tina. I'm so happy. Oh, You're part nice. of these big groups. Yeah, and I think that kind of in and of itself shows that you are deserving. What the heck, that's so nice. <laughs> that's so nice. I don't know, like, I'll, 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 is it chalked up? Yeah, choked up. Yeah. Choked up? It's not chalk? <laughs> I think it's choked up. What's the chalked one then? You chalk it up to something. That is what I'm talking <laughs> I'm all chalked up. <laughs> I personally like am making an effort to be more accepting of things like that just because I think when I 
and being like a go-getter and things like that is it would inspire like my audience yeah. to do the same like because yeah. i think it is such a bad habit to like tear down on myself and not go for things and stuff because i'm like they're watching you know and if they see that i like reject opportunities because i don't feel like i'm good enough or i explain that i don't feel like i'm good enough i don't want them to then also put themselves down in that way do you feel like in a sense having this audience that you care about and treating yourself the way that you want them to treat themselves has been beneficial for you yes it makes me like want to be a better me all the time which i'm very grateful for because i'm like oh i wonder if i was by myself if this would be the same case but it's because i know that there are people watching like i want to be a better me so other people are inspired to be a better them what is it about doing what you do that brings you the most joy seeing like a lot more girls in this space and like mm. being able to teach them how to draw boundaries and being like that kind of person that can like you know provide that kind of comfort to people that makes me super happy because it's something that i wish i had growing up a little bit it's really fun to see the space changing i spent a day with tina kid one of the most magnetically kind-hearted people i've ever met and one thing that really sits with me is how so many of us have the idea that using self-deprecation is a medicine that allows us to acknowledge and even circumvent negativity about us before it ever reaches us. But it may actually be the very thing that invites negativity and poison into our lives in the first place. Water. Why drink water when you have what? I mean, huh? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, it explains a lot. Do not go to idrinkblood.com. Is that a real website? Oh, yeah, idrinkblood.com. Yeah, it's fucked up. Do not go there. Do not go to idrinkblood.com. Do not. Really? Never go there. You guys, answer me. Why is everyone so quiet? <laughs> <laughs> is that a real website? <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I will try and, like... <laughs> oh, crap, I'm moving everything around. Um... What is it? Yeah. Um, I will edit this. And, um, again, pay like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Um, this video will be coming out the exact same day as the video. So I will try and edit at, as fast as I can. Um, like, as hard as I can. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this.